Hey guys, how are you going? In this video, I want to demonstrate the usage of the HTML5 content editable attribute. Um, so essentially, this one right here allows your users to edit the contents of an HTML element that is not an input or text area. So in a way, you can turn other elements that aren't input elements into input elements. It's definitely not going to replace your standard text area and input elements, but it can be useful in special cases where particularly you need the styling flexibility of other elements. So let's go inside the text editor right here and I'll show you how it works. So I'm going to be using a div as an example. So I'll make a new div here uh, with an ID of something like my div and then we can set the content editable attribute on this div. For example, we can say content editable just like this and we can say true. So unlike other elements, or sorry, uh, unlike other attributes, you can't simply say, uh, you know, leave it like this. Um, you need to actually say equals true for this to work. So now I'm going to put some content inside here, for example, some sample content, okay. Then inside the CSS, I may as well add some styling just to see what's actually going on. So I'll target the my div um, element right here and I'll say a width of something like 300 px, a height of 100, let's give it a font weight of bold, a light background and also a bit of padding just like this. So I'm going to save this and refresh and we can see here. Um, the div looks like normal, but I can actually click into the div just like this. We can see that the carrot starts blinking and of course we get the blue outline, which means I can start typing inside here. Okay, so um, there you go. That's basically how it works. You can turn other elements into import elements. Okay, so um, I wanted to also show you how you can actually uh, interact with this uh, using JavaScript. So. Uh, back inside here, I'll go inside the script tag below. First, I'll get a reference to my div, so I'll say const my div is equal to document .get element by id and pass in my div just like this. Um, so to actually find out if an element is editable or content editable, you can simply say console.log my div dot content editable, and this will give you a string, true or false. Save this refresh we can see obviously it is and that is in string form um, alternatively you can use the is content editable property it does the exact same thing however this one's actually going to be a boolean type save this refresh and we get the same result this one is obviously blue in color because it is a boolean compared to the string form up here and uh, finally, with the JavaScript, uh, you can set the attribute by saying my div .content editable um, is equal to false, for example, and that will, of course, turn off the content editable property. I can save this uh, and refresh once again, and now obviously I can't actually edit this content. Um, and one last thing um, that I've seen in the documentation uh, quite frequently related to uh, this content editable attribute is the CSS uh, property called carrot color. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to say carrot color just like this. And basically, this one lets you uh, change the color of your blinking carrot. For example, I can say red just like this. I'm going to save this one and refresh before I just remove this and make this true. So I'm going to save this and uh, refresh now and now we can see um, the actual carrot is red in color. Okay, um, that is basically all for the HTML5 content editable attribute. Uh, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later.